Well, that's what's together. It's probably going to charge for another four hours. Got uh, ran probably about 15 miles this morning. Some of the leftover pieces that aren't being used. This is the tire that was damaged when the battery fell off. Got lodged in the spokes. Took this wheel, is now trued, but it's shaped like an oval, so it bounces. It got replaced by a Schwinn, which is a different size wheel and tire called the S6, which is new to me. This is the old Raleigh wheel. Uh, I can stick that on another bike. These are all the leftover pieces that are not being used. Piece of crap. Freewheel. Junk. This is the original uh, cranks. This is one that we bought as two. Too long, it's no good. These are cottered cranks. We're not not using a cotter now. This one's too short. Can't use that. Cones, not using that. Well, I use one like that. Original chain, it's a 69 Raleigh chain from it's probably as good or better than the one that's on there. Uh, little 25 M 25 millimeter chain. It's too light. Uh, piece of crap charger. It's been replaced by those uh, Schumachers. Uh, yeah, this is a light, light chain. I didn't have a, I didn't have a prayer. It's a 1,000 watt motor, built-in gearbox. To keep it from slipping, I pre-tensioned it before I uh, tightened these. That seems to help quite a bit. I can still, it, uh, hard to believe it can jump that chain, but it does. This is a free wheel. It's about 20 bucks and it's got to go. It skips, it jumps. So I got to replace that. There'll be another 70 bucks. This whole thing you're looking at about, whew, without the cost of the frame, is about $1,500 in it right now. Getting that back in gas savings is going to be a real trick. These brakes, these original side pole brakes. Not the best. He's squeezing pretty hard to stop it. Yes, that's about it.